Dan Davio here, mistrade with Dan Passarelli. With Dan. Uh, Dan, you might need to turn down your sound just a bit on your end, but Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Matt. How you doing? I'm doing great. How uh, you got the fire in the background? I mean, I'm I'm nice and toasty here, just thinking about it as it's been uh, just nasty, damp, and rainy here in Bend. Which uh, for January we don't we don't normally see this weather. We usually get some snow and sun, but uh, how's it in Chicago? You guys got some snow this week, didn't you? Oh man, I was I, I had to shovel my driveway to get my car out yesterday. <laughs> oh. Was it was it heavy and wet, or, or, or the typical Midwest snow? Yeah, well, you know, it wasn't so bad. You know, I think if I were about a few years younger, I'd be out there building a snowman. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> well, let me ask you, 2010, 2010 is here. Volatility, uh, as far as the VIX is concerned, is gone. Uh, we've, we've reverted to uh, just above uh, voting age here at 18, 20, 30, 40, wherever it is. What do, you, what do you see on the horizon? I, I can tell you the uh, S&Ps, the OEX, have come to a halt in comparison to the last uh, year and a half. Um, you know, everything's just kind of grinding higher. Every asset I see uh, is just grinding higher. Uh, I see gold moving together with ES, strange, strange behavior for sure. Oil's up, gold's up, everything's up. Uh, what do you see? Well, you know, it's funny. I, w- I was talking to one of my mentoring students yesterday. And, uh, you know, we were, look, we were looking at volatility charts. We were looking at the VIX. And, uh, you know, he said, well, you know, how far back should I go to look at stuff? I said, well, you know, there's a lot of ways you can look at it, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I said, well, you know, if you look at this period last, uh, you know, October, September, October, November, you know, that's kind of an anomaly. You know, VIX was really high. You know, it's a crazy thing. And then, you know, I said, well, and if you look at this period more more recently, like over the last six months, we had just this steady decline in, in the VIX, you know. Right. And, you know, that's kind of, kind of an anomaly, too. You know, right. neither of these are really normal periods. I agree. But, you know, then the more I, I kind of started thinking about it, you know, I mean, the next thing I said to him is really, you know, the, the normal, the norm for the market is – it's just all a system of anomalies, <laughs> you right. know. I, I mean, there's not necessarily. You know, it's funny I mean, because I, I, have that, I have that conversation often with my wife. She's like, you know, how are the markets? I'm like, ah, it wasn't. It's not normal, or it wasn't this, wasn't that. And she's like, you right. always say that. And I'm like, well, yeah, I guess you're yeah. right. You know, I guess you're right, and and, and you're absolutely right, Dan. And, and what do you mean by that? It is a, a series of anomalies because. Explain that to people because I, I do agree with that, and, and I, I understand what you're saying, and it's it's well put, in that the market changes all the time. Sure. Well, you know, I mean, you figure uh, last, um, well, you know, I mean, when when the market kind of fell out of bed, you know, in uh, September or whatever of the other year. Right. Um, September of you know, we, Yeah. Of, oh, yeah, exactly, of 08. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to keep, you know, this is 2010 now. Right, uh, right, right, right. So, uh, you know, we've kind of been recovering since then, obviously, right? Right. But, you know, now we've kind of reached levels where the VIX was before that, that happened in the fall of 08, and so, you know, if we were just kind of kind of to look back there and say, well, oh, here we are. Everything's over now. You know, uh, now we can go back to normal levels where we were a year and a half ago. Right. Well, you know, I don't know if that's necessarily a really fair statement because, granted, we kind of, you know, the, the shakeup happened and we've sort of recovered from that. But, hey, look. The reason that the VIX has been high is because of all the stuff that's going on in the market, right? And 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 the economy in the world, and all that stuff is still there, right? You know, all that stuff. That's the interesting thing that I find is that it's, it's interesting the VIX, which again is a, is a reference to puts being bought on the S and P 100 over the over the over the calls. So there's not much fear in the put buyers out there right now yet. The reality is, I, I agree with you, from a you know macro perspective, not much has changed. We still have a lot of zombie banks out there. We still have a lot of, uh, li- you know, uh, liquidity issues. We've got a lot of credit problems. Uh, we're printing more money than ever. So why is it that, I mean, are, are, are our memories getting shortened, 
you know, by each micro bubble that we continue to have. I mean, I, I'm trying to understand it because in my 15 plus years of doing this business, it's gotten stranger and stranger each little, uh, you know, micro bubble. And, and I'm starting to call them, and, and you know, that's what they are. I mean, they're just they're they're just a series of of, of these little micro bubbles, but nothing really gets flushed out. So. You know, how does it all? How does how does a trader or investor use this data? I mean, is it important as, as they look to establish positions here? You know, coming into 2010. I mean, are you should be should you be worried? Should you be euphoric? Where should you be? Well, you know, uh, I mean, as you know, I mean, you've been around a long time as well. I mean, traders always have short-term memories. Uh, you can actually make a case for saying the, the short-term memory this time has been longer than normal right. <laughs> because if, if you look back over the last, uh, you know, six months, just up until recently, you know, the VIX was trading above the 30 day realized volatility of the SPX. Right. So, you know, in hindsight, what that means is, Hey, if you were selling options, you probably made money. Right. And, and people, people during that whole period, people were willing to pay up for insurance. You know, right. it, it was worth it to them. And, and it didn't pan out for them, right. but you know, I mean, they're still kind of buying it. I mean, arguably, um, you know, it's 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 pretty tough right now. We're really at a crossroads, I think. It's hard to say, hey, you know, volatility's still high, but it's uh, I don't know if I'd be selling it with both hands out right now either. All right, so one more question for you, Dan, and I'll let you go here this Friday, uh, the first Friday of uh, January. Where do you see us, uh, say, June 30th, uh, halfway through the year? Where, where, where do you see us on the S&P? You know, use whatever index you choose, but, uh, you know, we're at 11.40 uh, here this morning. Where do you think we'll be? You know, I got to tell you, um, I, we're, for the last 10 years, we're about flat, right? Yep. Um, I, I can't see this being a, a real banner year really in either direction. You know, I mean, I think that uh, we're going to be oscillating a little bit. Yep. I, uh, I'm not really, really strongly bullish. I'm not really, really strongly bearish. You know, um, well, we're, that we're makes doing two, some back and forth. That makes two of us. I've got the umbrella of uh, 1000 and 1250 around my uh, year this year. I just think, you know, after 70% retrace off that uh, bottom last year is not going to lead to another 70% for sure this year. So, uh, yeah, but I don't see big failure either, and I don't see big upside. So I'm, I'm kind of with you in that same camp. Give, give me one big idea uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, well, I think the big idea, I mean, the story for the last year, year and a half, has been volatility, and it's going to continue to be, but it's going to be different. You know, the, I mean, the big idea really is to keep an eye on volatility and try and stay ahead of it. You know, uh, if volatility remains high, I think you could kind of tepidly, tepidly sell it. If, you know, I mean, if you keep seeing implied over historical and it doesn't drop too much more, you know, you might be able to very carefully pick your spots, but you might be able to sell a little bit. And if it gets down low, I think you've got to scoop it up. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm in the, I'm in the buying camp right now. I've been buying VIX calls last uh, this past week pretty heavily. So uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. But uh started there in the low 19s. Now we're in the low 18s. So. I'm in that camp, at least for the short term. Uh, I don't know about uh, the rest of the year, but, you know, again, I think you've got to trade it. You've got to be more nimble and, and, and be this is going to continue to be more of a trader's market, kind of uh, ceilings and bottoms, but nothing definitive going either way. Great, great. All right. Well, thanks, Matt. Thanks, Dan. We'll chat. It. We'll check in with you soon again. And uh, if you have any thoughts, just uh, ring us up. All right. Sure will. Thank you. Likewise. Take care.